Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube vlog video thing. Today I'm going to show you how I decorate my room. Yeah, so basically the... So I did an Instagram story of my room, my previous room, a few months ago and it got uh, not a lot of views but it got a heap of comments and a heap of people were messaging me asking me how I decorate my room and why it looks so cool. <laughs> So, I thought I'd uh, make a YouTube vlog about it and start earning that cash money. I thought I'd make this video just for fun, um, show you guys how I decorate my room, what I do. Originally, I was going to do a how to decorate your room video, um, as there's not a lot of guy ones on YouTube. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to kind of show you uh, what I did and how I went about it. So, in looking for YouTube videos and how I should do my room and getting some inspiration, I didn't really find anything. Um, except this. So thank you YouTube for introducing me to the Mesha Twins. Ash, if you could just reply to my Instagram message, that'd be great. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just thought I'd make my own video. Um, that seems to be the way to go. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is what my room used to look like before I redesigned it and made it look way better than what it was. One of the first things that I did when redesigning my room was getting rid of everything that I no longer needed or no longer used. So I got rid of old clothes, I got rid of furniture, I got rid of just stuff that was in the way and I no longer needed in my room. The good thing about my room is that I have lots of storage space. Um, I've got storage space in the roof or in these cupboards and yeah, I was able to use that to my advantage. So now I'm just getting rid of stuff. I'm moving everything out of my room to start with a blank space um, so I can put all my new stuff in and I'm getting rid of my old bed, my old bedside table and just getting some storage space so that I can put in all my new stuff. As you can see, I'm putting in my double bed at the moment. Um, it's the first time I've ever had a double bed, so of course this was gonna be the centerpiece of my room, and that was the first thing I made sure that I had in my room. Now I'm just building my little bedside table that's in a, a dark wood grain kind of color, and that fits really well with the dark themes of my room. I'm putting my drum kit in my room just because I've got nowhere else to put it, but that'll be hidden away later on. And now I'm putting in my big cube thing that I have that'll sit my TV and uh, sit underneath the window and it'll be a really nice piece to put some decorative things on. I'm hanging this flag over the window because I wasn't going to open my blinds for natural sunlight um, as I didn't need it. So I thought I'd put this in the middle of my room, that's the first thing you see when you walk in. So now I'm hanging up fairy lights um, around the borders of my room. Um, because I'm not really going to use my bedroom light or natural light, just putting them around really brings out um, the features of my room and really shows that kind of vibe I'm trying to get. And mixed with some other accents of colour really makes the room what it is. This is just another random flag that I have that I thought I'd put in the middle of my ceiling um, just because I thought it would look cool and oh, I had to get rid of it. So I put some fairy lights underneath my bed here but later on down my design stage I no longer needed them but it can add a different kind of vibe to your room and looks kind of cool if you just have it um, under your bed. Now I'm just adding different things for my room such as plants, posters, um, stag heads, whatever I had to make my room look somewhat cool. Um, as I study animals at uni, I've got a lot of animal based things and a lot of uh, spiritual based things that I think help create the vibe to my room and just make the room interesting and there's always something to look at in every corner and that was the whole idea. Basically, I just put in whatever I thought looked cool at the time, um, whatever I found and whatever I think would suit the ideas of my room based on the colours. So after adding all my photos and pictures, I just started adding um, the rest of the stuff that I had. So I added a full-size mirror, 
um, so I could look at myself basically. I added more fairy lights and some ivy along the roof to get that jungle kind of vibe. Um, I added some hanging terrariums with some coloured lights in them just to give that more accent of colour. So after most of the cosmetic design stuff was done, I just put in some other things like this rug that brought out the red and green kind of colours in my room, um, as well as a small rug that I had as a reindeer fur as well. Um, I had this big bear, um, and then for my bed, I just used some dark greys, whites and blacks um, to really bring out the rest of the bedroom, really. Yeah, and that's my room, everyone. Yeah, it took me three months to design and make and film, but yeah, I've had a few changes to my room since then and since making this video, um, but you get the general idea. And I forgot to film a few things, as you could probably tell, but I did my best to show you guys how I decorate my room and what I do, how I went about it, and some of the stuff that I used. Yeah, I hope. Um, this helps you get some inspiration for your room designs and stay tuned because I have some more videos planned on designing other bedrooms and some other places as well. So if you like this video, uh, make sure you give it a like and subscribe because I have some more videos coming out soon. And also if you didn't like it, um, just give it a thumbs down and also if you don't like the videos that I make or this video, just unsubscribe, that'd be great. Yeah, if you want to see any more of my ideas or designs, um, I have my Pinterest page that you can check out, or even some stuff on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on both and keep up to date with this YouTube venture. So thank you so much, guys. Yeah.